The provisioning application provides a simplified method for deployment of AOS switches utilizing user configured templates to automatically push management user and switch configuration to AOS switches. Provisioning rules contain configuration templates for specific switches or switch models. When a switch contacts the OmniVista server, its provisioning rules and the configuration templates are automatically pushed to the switch. To enable your network to provide OmniVista switch provisioning, set your DHCP server to point to the local OmniVista server as the authentication server for provisioning. And set the DNS to resolve to your local OmniVista server. New out-of-the-box switches automatically contact OmniVista when they first connect to the network. However, to enable a currently deployed switch to contact the OmniVista server, telnet to the switch and modify the cloudagent.cfg file and enable the cloud agent. Next, go to Network, Provisioning, Rules. On the Rules screen, click the Default Management Users Template button and configure the default management template. This template will be applied to any switch that is successfully provisioned and enables OmniVista management of the switch. Define the SNMP version that will be used. It is recommended to keep the default settings when deploying new switches. OmniVista will log into the switch with the default admin switch login credentials and then create a new user based on the username and authentication password configured. OmniVista will then use this username and password to connect and manage the switch. The default username is OV Enterprise, with the authentication password automatically generated by OmniVista. On the rule screen, click the Add icon to create a rule for a specific switch or switch model. The rule can contain the serial number, MAC address, or model of the switch as well as the switch configuration template. Click the drop down arrow and select Add New to create a switch config template. The configuration template is a set of commands that are read by the switch on reloading. A template can be static or dynamic. Static templates do not use variables. Static templates are useful where all switches can work with the same configuration and the IP address is given by a DHCP server. Dynamic templates use variables, allowing you to reuse the configuration template even though different switches may need different values for some configurations, allowing different branches of an enterprise to use a different subnet range or VLAN. Dynamic templates use value mapping for the variables in the templates, activating the value mapping field when the selected configuration template contains variables. Click Add New to create a new value mapping template. The variables are displayed at the top of the window. Enter values for each of the variables and click the Save as New Value Mapping button. After the rule is created, the switch is ready to be provisioned. Make sure the switches are running from the working directory for provisioning. Connect the switches to the network. The switches will contact OmniVista, be matched to a corresponding provisioning rule, and the configuration and the template will be pushed to the switches. Switches that match the provisioning rule will appear in the results screen and in the Manage Device list of OmniVista.